Hello everybody, this is Sala. In this C Sharp Windows Form tutorial, you're gonna learn to work with error provider control. It's a very useful control to provide or to display the errors and to mark the required fields on the form. For example, here you see I have two text boxes and these text boxes are required. That means they cannot be left emptied. If I do so and click on the submit button, so here you see the error provided by the error provider. So the error providers are attached to the text boxes and when the mouse cursor is placed on it, you can see the text, right? It is required. So it's a very useful control and it enhances the user experience. So let's now say how do we code with error provider. So here is our simple form. We are gonna validate these two text boxes with the help of error provider. Error provider is a control that you can find in the toolbox window. All you need to do is just search for error provider, right? So we have two text boxes, so we need two error providers, drag them and leave them on the form. Now you can see we have two error providers, error provider one and error provider two, one for each text box. Now back in the code, inside the submit click event, I have first some variables. This boolean variable is a control variable, and then I have two string variables for reading the values from the text boxes. So there is no strange thing here. And right after the variables, I am controlling both the text boxes for null or empty. And here we need to program our error provider. So the error provider uh, number one is gonna call on text box one. And that also means the data is not provided. So we are gonna change the status of our control variable from true to false and we're going to do the same with our second text box the second error provider is going to attached to the second text box and lastly we are going to read the data only if the value in our control variable is true and then display a message box just to confirm the data is submitted or received Simple application with simple logic. This is our control variable. If data is not provided, we are setting it to false. If data is not provided, we are setting it to false. But when the data is provided in both the text boxes, we will never come inside the if statements and our control variable will remain true, right? So in this case, we are gonna read the data from the text boxes. Let's now run this application and check it out. Okay, so leave both the text boxes empty and click on the submit button. And here you see the error provider are providing errors. And if I provide data, let's see, like this, click submit, and here you see data is submitted. One more thing that you can improve here, as you can see, the data is provided, the data is submitted, but the error providers are still there. So we can clear the error providers when data is okay uh, in our text boxes. And to do so, at the top, we can call the clear method on both the providers, error providers. So every time we are gonna submit, we will first clear the error providers and then we'll set the error again or do not set the errors if data is provided. So let's now check it out. So leave the text boxes empty, and here we see error providers. Now provide data to the first text box, and here we see, we don't see any error here, but here we see the error because data is not provided, and provide the data here, and now the data is submitted, and error providers are gone, right? So friends, that was a tutorial on error providers. I will see you around in some other tutorials on C-Shop Windows Forms. Thanks for watching.